So, at the age of 66, with a long background of playing uh, for money since I was 14, and uh, the rest of my life, um, most of my gigs, all I want is this and my Ampeg RB115 or 112. I want to hear a Fender bass, this or the jazz. I want to hear a Fender bass with flats through an Ampeg amp. That's what I want to hear. If the gig is too off, uh, far off from that, it's not my gig anymore. I just don't want to do it. Um, this here is the most versatile thing on the planet as far as bass goes. Put it in an Ampeg amp and you got yourself a logger in lime. You know, lager and lime's a perfect miss. Peanut butter and chocolate, you know, they just go together. Um, and Fender, 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 listen to me. Please start making uh, bases with actual vintage specs. I'm getting sick of seeing custom shops and vintage models with vintage tall frets or medium jumbo fret wire or jumbo fret wire or once again more of that vintage tall stuff. You bought 20 billion of them. You got to put them on everything. They suck. Um, put the uh, real vintage frets on. The only thing vintage tall is good for is that glissando stuff everybody does now in every other measure. It's annoying. Just play bass, would you? Um, you know? Fender bass, Ampeg amp. And, uh, you know, I'll weigh in on I won't say greatest, because I don't believe in any such thing. There's a lot of leaves at the top of a tree, but uh, if I had to pick two bass players to emulate that just just do it for me as far as approach and tone, on upright I'd say Ray Brown, on electric I'd say James Jamerson. And there's a lot of other people around them, just like there's a lot of other people around Jimi Hendrix, but there's only one Jimi Hendrix, and there's only one Ray Brown and one James Jamerson. They're gone now, but... Ray Brown's the only upright bass player I ever heard in my life to this day, except for Christian McBride, that plays with such a pure note that's so solid and in tune on an upright. I gotta look and make sure he's not playing a Fender Precision. I mean, give me a break. The guy was amazing. Seizures, be kind to one another. If you like this kind of stuff, get yourself a P-Bass and an Ampeg amp. They aren't big and heavy like they used to be anymore, and they sound just as good. See ya.